Welcome everyone to Random's first virtual graduation. We are here to celebrate the graduating class of 2020. I would like to start by reading a land acknowledgement statement to open our virtual ceremony, which will be followed by the Plain of O Canada. The Grand Dairy District School Board and the Random staff recognizes the Haudenosaunee and Anishabi people as the traditional peoples of this territory. We acknowledge and give gratitude to the Indigenous peoples for sharing these lands in order for us to continue our work here today. Here to perform O Canada, please welcome multi-platinum Sony recording artists and Canadian natives, Walk Off the Earth! I am honored today to welcome you and celebrate with you the amazing accomplishments of the Raynham class of 2020. This year's theme, Hollywood, was selected by our students. They say that absence makes the heart grow fonder. We all know this, but when we are faced with the reality that the events and opportunities that we have dreamt of for so very long look and feel so incredibly different, it is important that we focus on what we have done and what we have to do. We are together, just differently. Today, the Raynham community comes together to celebrate you, how far you have made it. You did not let anything stand in your way. You kept going and you achieved great things, and we know you will continue to. Graduates, I hope that you look back fondly on your time at Raynham, this wonderful country school in Fisherville. For some of you, you spent 10 years of your life at Raynham, and more importantly, together with peers, forming fast and lasting relationships. Now it's time to pause and reflect, to think about your time at Raynham and the future that's ahead of you. Now it's time to decide which friends and teachers you want to keep in touch with and how you want these relationships and your future to evolve. This is what education is supposed to do. Prepare us for our next steps out in the world. They say Hollywood is a place where dreams are made. I think Raynham is a place where you turned your dreams and your hard work into a reality. Congratulations to the Raynham 2020 graduates. It's been a long Without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it When I see you again We've come a long way From where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it When I see you again When I see you again Damn, who knew? All the planes we flew, good things we've been through That I'll be standing right here talking to you About another path I know we love to hit the road and laugh But something told me that it wouldn't last Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture Those were the days, hard work forever pays Now I see you in a better place Ah, uh, happy 
can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you gon' be with me for the last it's ride. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. I see you again. We've come a long way. Yeah, we came a long way. From where we began. You know we started. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Let me tell you. When I see you again. Watch your way in the vibe, it's feeling strong and was small Turned to a friendship, a friendship turned to a bond And that bond will never be broken, the love will never get lost And when brotherhood come first, then the line will never be crossed Established it on our own when that line had to be drawn And that line is what we reach, so remember me when I'm gone can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you gon' be with me for the last so ride. Let the light guide your way. Yeah. Hold every memory as you go. And every road you take. Without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it When I see you again We've come a long way From where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it When I see you again When I see you Fleming here. Um, first and foremost, I want to say hello. I miss you guys and I hope you're doing well. Uh, secondly, I'm going to present the Language Award. The Language Award is presented to the student who has demonstrated a high level of proficiency in the English language. It is required that the recipient of this award consistently display outstanding effort, critical thinking, and creativity in all aspects of the language program. This year's recipient is an individual who has the innate ability to communicate their thoughts and ideas through manipulation of both written and spoken word. They use strong vocabulary to convey messages and articulate themselves. The student uses their creativity to craft narratives and their love of reading to learn about the world around them. As long as I have known this individual, they have never stopped setting goals for themselves and consistently live up to a high standard of achievement. I'm certain that this desire and determination comes from the experiences that they have had with books, as well as time spent in deep conversations with those she surrounds herself with. Congratulations to this year's Language Award recipient, Ruby Cooper. Yay! my students that mathematics is about problems. We are like detectives that are searching for clues to help us solve the problem. We are given some information and it is up to us, the detectives, to figure out what information is missing and how can we go about to find it. This past year, this student was able to find and use the tools necessary to search for the clues and solve the problems. The student has demonstrated exceptional skills in all five strands of mathematics. This person grasps concepts very easily, 
is willing to help others who are experiencing difficulty and understands that in order to become a great detective, you must practice these skills. It is my pleasure to present this year's math award to Kaylee Snyder. graduates of 2020, the class of 2020. This is Miss Bo obviously talking to you. I'm so sorry that we can't meet in person, but this is the best we can do and I am proud of all of you. I'm going to present the French Award right now um, and this person, I think you know who it all is, this person obviously um, participates enthusiastically in all areas of the program and because of that has had a higher degree of success in terms of her marks. Uh, the French Award goes to Riley Battle. Congratulations Riley and I hope to see all you guys from on the bus. <laughs> I'm here to present the Science Award. The individual who receives the Science Award has shown uh, academic achievement in all areas of the science curriculum. They're inquisitive about the world around them, they ask questions, and they're happy to share what they find with their classmates. Uh, it's my pleasure to give this award to Avery Verhoeven. Congratulations. The student who is receiving the History Award is someone who put forth an amazing effort each day to truly know, understand, and appreciate the history that was taught to them. They were focusing on Canadian history with a special focus on Confederation. The student who is receiving the History Award this year is Kaylee Snyder. Congratulations. is a big place that is full of wonder and amazement. To study the land we live on, the world around us, and how we as humans affect these parts is important to understanding life. The Geography Award is presented to the student who continuously strives to succeed in all their geography assignments. This person participates actively during lessons and is always ready to share applicable information. Your hard work and effort are being rewarded tonight. It is my pleasure to present this year's Geography Award to Jaden McCarroll. It is my pleasure to present the Music Award this year. Singing, creating music is a delightful thing and listening to music is something that enriches all of us. This particular student has such a beautiful voice and we were all delighted to hear it during her performance in Pirates. Congratulations, Ruby Cooper. I am pleased to present the Visual Arts Award this year. Visual Arts is very rewarding, whether you are zentangling or painting or sculpting. This particular student has shown a great talent in detail and creativity, and I'm very pleased to present the award to Haley Thomas Bacon. This seemingly simple question is actually quite complex. 
When thinking critically about what it means to be an athlete, we must consider what qualities are essential to allow success in different areas of sport. Athletes are committed and show intense drive and determination when developing their skills. They show a very specialized confidence when facing opponents, yet they are willing to listen to directions from their coaches and teachers, and they modify their actions at a rapid pace. Most importantly, they never make excuses, never accept anything but their personal best, and they continue to grow by becoming well-educated about the sport they are playing. The recipient of this award possesses the qualities of a well-rounded athlete. She applies these qualities when playing multiple sports on a school-level team or in physical education classes. She remains respectful of her teammates, and it has been an honour to see her develop as a top athlete throughout her time at Raynham. She should be very proud of her accomplishments and her contributions to the world of sports. I am very proud to present the Female Athletic Award to Brooklyn Michael. Uh, now I'm going to present the Male Athlete Award. The Male Athlete Award is to be presented to an individual who has achieved a high degree of skill development in a variety of sports and to whom displays tremendous overall participation and effort in class. Most importantly, however, uh, this student, uh, the award must go to a student who displays both a positive attitude and the ability to act as a teammate and a role model for other athletes. This year's recipient is an individual who not only engages in purposeful physical activity and learning during class, but extends his athletic desires and abilities beyond the walls of the gym. He displays a strong sense of athleticism and a high degree of skill. He uses his knowledge of position and body mechanics to gain an edge on his competitors. And he also understands that no matter his role on a team, he must be both a respectful and a respected member. Since grade one, He's been wearing down the grass in whatever makeshift soccer field he and his peers could craft. He's created new divots and records in the sand pits and has burned rubber off of too many wall balls uh, and basketballs to count. Most importantly, he does all of these things with a smile. He is eager to play and willing to accept feedback. He may have never stopped moving, but that's precisely what a good athlete does. Congratulations to this year's male athlete uh, winner, Jesse Dirksen. Congratulations, Jesse. The Orville McRae Award for Academics goes to the student who has the highest overall average in all subjects throughout the year. But that doesn't tell the whole story. Behind those good marks is a student who thinks logically and wrestles with issues until they fully understand. It's a student who is inquisitive and asks questions that dig deeper than what's being presented in class. This year, the award goes to two students who would push back and challenge until the world that I was sharing in class made sense with the world that they understood. This year, it's my privilege to present this award to Ruby Cooper and Kaylee Snyder. Hi, Random graduates and parents. The KG Martindale Citizenship Award is presented to a kind and caring student who best exemplifies the qualities of an all-around citizen of Raynham Central. This student always shows consideration and respect for others and sets an excellent example of how we should treat one another. She's always polite and willing to help, whether welcoming staff and students each morning by doing announcements or by simply and quietly making her classroom, our school, and our community a more inviting place to be. The KG Martindale Citizenship Award is presented to Alicia Swift. Congratulations. The Orville McRae Award for Best Effort goes to a student who consistently demonstrates perseverance and grit and determination. 
This year's award winner would tackle any task with a positive attitude and would persevere until they were finished. They did an amazing job at inspiring students around them to stick with it, even when the task got difficult. This year's award winner is Cheyenne McDonald. <laughs> The Ontario Principals Award is presented each year to one graduating student who has demonstrated outstanding leadership throughout their school years. This year's recipient has demonstrated leadership in achievement, community, and well-being. She maintained a high academic achievement and balanced that with always having an outstanding moral character. She participated in many aspects of school life, including being a representative for school council and as a kindergarten and pizza lunch helper. She was always willing to be a positive role model for others and never afraid to try something new. She always led with kindness and empathy. And it's my pleasure to present this year's OPC award to Riley Battle. on this glorious day. In case you don't already know, this is Alicia. And this is Owen. First, we would like to say a huge thank you to our friends and classmates for choosing us to represent the class of 2020 as co-valedictorians. Although we never would have imagined presenting our speech like this, we are here to celebrate the class of 2020 at Raynham Central School. 2020 has been an expected year to say the least, but we are still here to celebrate an amazing milestone. When people started telling me they were sorry that my whole grade eight year was turned upside down, I shrugged it off and said, it's no big deal. It's a hard thing to talk about and not talking about it seems less painful, but it's important. We missed a lot of important events. I wish I could go back for one more Monday morning English class just to walk down those familiar hallways one last time. We can't let the pandemic be the defining event of our class. We all deserve to celebrate and be proud of ourselves. And that is what we are here to do. We cannot control the circumstances we face today, but what we can do is choose how we look at tomorrow. We are the class of 2020. We have the strength. When we left school on March 13th, expecting a couple of extra weeks off, we couldn't have predicted what would happen next. But thanks to our teacher, Mr. Turner, we were prepared for life online. Luckily, we made it through the few months of online and graduated grade eight. Ever since we walked through those same familiar doors of Raynham on September 3rd, we were prepared for high school. Around 10 months later, we were ready to rock through a new chapter of our lives, high school but we still haven't forgotten the people and memories we have made at Random. I think everyone can agree that our years at Random have taught us many things. It has helped us grow into the people we are today and built the foundation of our lives. It has taught us how to share, be kind, we learned how to make friends, and with that came great friendships. But some days weren't all they were cracked up to be. When we look back at the times we had at Raynham, we realize that we have had the best years of our lives. Although we will make new memories, we will cherish the ones we have made together. Apart from the odd bad day, 
We can never ignore the amazing days and the memories we had. Kindergarten. The good old days of kindergarten. Playing house in a little kitchen out with the people you thought were complete strangers. Years later, you wouldn't have thought we would be still standing here today as your friends. We were young and always up for a new adventure. It was like we were in another world, new people and new places. We found our way around school and made many new memories. Easter was a very fun time for everyone. We went on an Easter egg hunt and the Easter money left little notes for us. We had baby shakes in our classroom and we explored the new opportunities waiting for us. We had our kindergarten graduation, which then opened a new path. Thank you, Miss Kelly and Miss Cutting. Grade one. Grade one seemed like the best year of our lives. We felt like the big kids. Grade one was the year we were great parents to Sparky the fire dog. We got our own little desks to put all of our stuff in and it was an awesome year. We went to the Butterfly Conservatory that year and it filled us with knowledge. Thank you, Miss Fleming and Miss Beaver. Grade two was a great year. We moved up to grade and were ready to learn new things, new friends, new teachers, and new experiences. For our class trip, we went to the movies to see How to Train Your Dragon 2 and went outside for a little picnic. Thank you, Miss Beaver and Mrs. Visser. Grade three was where things started to get interesting. We learned and we traveled to new possibilities. We were so excited that we got to go to the big kid's side and explore our boundaries. In grade three, we got lucky and we missed our EQAO testing. We had our first year of track and field and another trip to Caledonia Fair. We went to Westfield Heritage Village and rang the school bell and learned what life was about back in the day. Grade three was when everyone became friends and we made our mark on the school and started to find our way. Thank you, Miss Kate and Miss Visser. Grade four was where we started to make a ton of new memories. We had the Museum of Musselite where we did a project on the ancient civilizations and presented them in the gym for everyone in the school. For the class trip this year, we went to Long Point for some exploring in the wilderness. We also went to Taquania to do some fort building, which was one of the best trips to Taquania yet. Thank you, Mr. Musselite. Grade five, we continue to explore. We had class trips to Sky Zone Trampoline Park, and we went to our annual Taquania trip for the millionth time. But we enjoyed it even more than the last. Thank you, Mr. LaCroix and Mr. Musselite. Grade 6 was where things really started to take off. We got us some tougher subjects, but pulled through with the help of our peers. We explored the technology of the school more with our tech-minded teachers. The class trips this year, we went to many places. The annual Taquania trip, the Science Center in Toronto, Blue Jays game in Toronto, the trip to Simcoe for the Wonder Movie. We finally completed the EQAO testing for the first time. The police showed up, but not for the reasons you think. They were there to share the OPP Kids program. Thank you, Ms. Reitzma and Mr. Musselite. Grade seven was very eventful. We had winter carnivals and went zip lining. Even if you were not in the same class, we still had lots of fun together. And we shared a lot of the same moments. All of us could smell the awful stench of the 50 or so worms in the classroom. We had our laugh and giggles, and we made many memories. Thank you, Ms. Harrison and Mr. Galbraith. Grade eight was the best year by far for most of us. When we walked in the door on the first day of school, we saw the familiar faces that we have grown up with and saw the familiar walls of the building. Our first trip was to Dundurn Castle, where some of us had the most fun ever on a trip, running down the hill, dressing up, crossing the street, looking in the chicken fighting arena and eating outside. And who could forget the bus trip back? Taquania was also fun this year. We did fort building and walked around the whole area. Who could also forget the dreadful, but also funny, at times, jokes on the board. Writing the speech has brought back a world full of memories. Thank you, Mr. Turner. to hold on to what we have achieved in our lives. We have conquered what we thought was going to be impossible, and we couldn't have done it without the incredible teachers. They dealt with us for many years, and they watched us grow into the people we are today. Thanks to the amazing teachers that would take the time to get involved in sports and clubs. 
Thank you to the teachers who have helped us navigate our life through Raynham and always looked out for us. Thank you to Ms. Norton and Ms. Bartlett for everything you did to help our years become eventful and meaningful. Thank you, Ms. Bo, for dealing with our crazy class for many years in a row and always making sure we left the school with a smile on our faces. Thank you to Mr. Turner for helping us prepare for high school and pushing us to always try our best. We will miss you all at Raynham. We also couldn't forget to thank our families for their love and support. The biggest thank you should go to our fellow classmates for always cheering us on and being there for each other. We didn't know at the beginning, but we have become friends and that we will never forget. In 10 years, if we look back, we will always remember the impact we had on each other's lives. We wish you all the best in years to come. We did it and we made it through elementary, but our life has just begun and there are new opportunities ahead. Congratulations, Class of 2020. We did it. It's a celebration. 